This is a quick video to cover a myth which is going around about kinetic energy recovery ropes which are relatively new to Australia although they've been widely used elsewhere and kinetic energy recovery snap straps or snap straps which we've used for many many years. So the myth is that you'll get more force um, or recovering force if you use a rope as opposed to a strap. Not the case and this is why. So let's say we've got two vehicles. You've got your bogged vehicle, which we'll call the casualty, and we've got the recovering um, vehicle. Now, the casualty is going to need an amount of force to extract it from wherever it is. We'll call that, let's say, a thousand kilograms, although it's not even the, quite the correct unit. You're going to need to apply that thousand kilogram force somehow, whether it be winching, snatching, whatever else, that's the force it's going to be needed to remove it from its, its predicament. Now, when the recovering vehicle is moving at a certain speed, it has a certain mass, and that means it has a certain amount of energy. That doesn't change regardless of whether you're using one of these or one of these. What does change is how that force is applied to the vehicle. Now, because these ropes are maybe 30, 40, 50% more stretchy than the straps, that force gets applied over a longer period of time so it is smoother and less shock loady than the strap. The total force is the same required to move the vehicle and the total energy in the recovering vehicle is the same. It's simply the period of time over which that force gets applied with the rope versus the strap. Now, because that period of force is longer, then you get less of a shock load, and that's one of the reasons why these ropes are superior to the straps. There's other reasons I'll go into another video there. But please don't um, labour under the misapprehension that you're suddenly going to be using more force with these things because you're not. The only way to do that is to drive your vehicle faster, a recovering vehicle faster, or to put more weight in it, and then that will transfer more energy to the uh, to the casualty vehicle. So if you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, share, etc. and follow for more explanations of things technical and four-wheel drive cars, towing, racetracks, etc. Thanks, bye.